It's just a piece of plastic. It's a tray. And I'm recording this in case you need to, to see it again. I can put it on clever. This is called a brayer. A brayer is just like a roller. These aren't the best brayers you can buy. There's better brayers, but these are the only ones I have. So we need to take care of them. And then you're going to take that ink, and the goal is to flatten it out nice and even. So you're going to hear this sound that kind of sounds like Velcro coming apart. We call it the sticky sound. So when you hear the sticky sound, don't say anything. Just give me a thumbs up, okay? Can you hear it? Listen. Like Velcro? Okay. When you hear that Velcro sound, that means it's ready. If you don't hear that sound and you hear like a... That means it's not ready. If you have too much ink on your brayer, it's going to fill all the lines that you created. So what's going to happen in just a minute is all these black lines, because I used a black pen, they're going to be black and the ink's going to be black and I'm not going to be able to see my design. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply ink. What's going to happen is the ink's only going to go and touch the raised surface, just like a stamp or just like your shoe if you were to walk in water and then you have a shoe print, right? So you're just going to add ink this is water-based ink, but it still can stain your clothes. So I'm carefully adding ink. It's like a thirsty paintbrush. You might have to add a little bit more. Okay, this part's kind of tricky because you don't want to touch the ink, so you're going to have to touch the underside. Then you have to decide how you want it to be. So I want this part right here to be in the center. So I'm going to flip it over, I'm going to line it up with the edge of the paper. Once it touches the paper, the ink's on there, so hopefully you don't mess up. I'm going to take one of these sprayers, doesn't have ink on it, and I'm just rolling it. Why do you think I'm rolling it? So, yes, Janelle? So, um, so the ink doesn't just, some of it stays on there and some parts. So all the ink gets on. So all the ink gets on. So I'm applying an even amount of pressure, and then we're gonna we're gonna say, go ahead and pull that print. When you pull a print, you're lifting up the styrofoam. I'm just gonna bend that back side of the paper back. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna continue that, but it's really important that when I put it back down, this part right here. Do you see it? is there. Do you guys see? So I'm going to do that real quick so you can see. Inking. Listen. Are you hearing this? Take yourself. Yeah. A lot or a little? A lot, but the squeaking kind of gets rid of it. Yeah, so squeaking gets rid of it. If you have a different, more expensive brayer, it might not squeak like that. If you don't have enough ink, what do you think could happen to your print? It won't, be, it won't work right. It will be faded. Who said that? And who said it won't work right? You guys are both right. So I'm going to really look at it because I need to make sure that this part matches up with that part. I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the edge of the paper. If you line up with the edge of the paper, you should be good because this square is 4 inches and the paper is 8 inches. Okay? I'm a little bit off, but that should be okay. different brayer. Maybe they took a couple more seconds on that one. Okay, now I'm going to pull the print. Remember, I'm just going to peel that back part off and bring it. So, and it's not perfect. Do you see how it's not completely perfect? That's telling me I should have put a little more ink right there. Okay, so it's really hard to tell because some of the ink was dry from the last time. Every second this ink is touching the air, it's drying a little bit. So, I might Fill a spray bottle up with a little bit of water so you can just squirt just a tiny bit of water to reactivate that ink. So again, listen. You hear the Velcro? Okay, did you hear how it took a second to get there? It took a minute to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and move my paper because I don't want to ink on just the tabletop. It's water-based, but you still have to clean up any mess that you make. I'm starting down here. 
I'm going to remember to add ink in the center where my finger is. Because now I made a fingerprint, right? Isn't that funny? Okay. So that's how your fingerprints work when they, they fingerprint you. The raised surface touches the ink and then it prints onto the paper. Okay, so this is getting kind of tricky because I need it to look that way. So I'm going to have to look at it kind of from the side to see where it would be when I flipped it around. Do you guys see that? I'm going to line it up with the edge here and take the brayer that does not have ink on it put an even amount of pressure all the way through I'm going to do it horizontally and vertically and then pull pretty cool we're going to do it one more time and the reason I'm walking you through this because we're going to all be at different steps please do not rush do you hear the stick sound? No. Not really. So we're just going to add a little bit. So just imagine that you're brushing your teeth in the morning. Is she supposed to be at coding club? Yes, I am. Is she? Or is it canceled today? today? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to stay in here with us? Come on in. Okay. okay. So what are we listening for? Thumbs up when you hear it. Oh, I didn't see your thumb, Greenly. I was waiting for your thumb. Okay. Remember, I put my finger there, but I have to remember to what? To ink it. It's messy, I'm sorry. You can wear an apron if you want. Okay, this is going to be really tricky, and if I were to mess up, if you were to mess up, we're going to turn it into happy accident, and we'll just alternate it. will look cool anyway. So this needs to be in the center. Oh, I realized that on the third one you did, on the edge, it kind of, the ink didn't fully go on. Like right there, I just did it again. Okay, I'm going to roll it again. And again, this is not going to be perfect, but the cool thing is, is if you finish early today, you can make another radial balance design with different colors. You could reprint this. Styrofoam can be rinsed off and used again. That's why we put our name with Sharpie. I'm going to go ahead and pull. Okay, so the goal is that we hang these up somewhere in the building so people can see how talented we are, okay? Mm -hmm. So I need you to really pay attention to your craftsmanship. That means I don't want to see anybody purposely trying to put this sideways or crooked. You're trying to show people your best work, okay? So do you remember what table you're sitting at? Okay, there might be some stuff on the table. I'm going to come around and move it. If you're ready to print, hold up for a minute because I need to get the printing station ready, okay? Any questions? You don't remember? Well, you'll see it in a minute. I have a red table that I put all the people that were sitting over here in that red folder. All the paperwork's in there. Yellow, where Caden's sitting. Green and purple. So go to where you were last time. 